A few weeks ago, the deadliest massacre of Latinos, Latinos in modern U.S. history happened in this state, in El Paso. So the fear among Latinos, and you know this, is very real. So let me start with an issue that is causing a lot of division in this country, immigration. Um, Vice President Biden, as a presidential candidate in 2008, you supported the border wall saying, unlike most Democrats, I voted for 700 miles of fence. This is what you said. Then you serve as vice president in an administration that deported three million people, the most ever in U.S. history. Did you do anything to prevent those deportations? I mean, you've been asked this question before and refused to answer, so let me try <coughs> once again. Are, are, are you prepared to say tonight that you and President Obama made a mistake about deportations? Why should Latinos trust you? What Latinos should look at is Comparing this president to the president we have is outrageous, number one. We didn't lock people up in cages. We didn't separate families. We didn't do all of those things, number one. Number two, number two, by the time this is the president who came along with the DACA program. No one had ever done that before. This is the president who sent a le legislation to the desk saying he wants to find a pathway for the 11 million undocumented in the United States of America. This is the president who's done a great deal. So I'm proud to have served with him. What I would do as president is several more things, because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is — we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says, if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. I would change the order that the president just changed, saying women who were being beaten and abused could no longer claim that as a reason for asylum. And by the way, retrospectively, you know, the 25th anniversary of the Violence Against Women Act is up. The Republican Congress has not reauthorized it. Let's put pressure on them to pass the Violence Against Women Act now, but then we yeah, go but back. You, you didn't answer the question. Well, the question I, I did did you make the question. A, no, did you make a mistake with those deportations? The president did the best thing that was able to be done at the How about time. you? I'm the vice president of the United States. Uh, Secretary Castro, uh, would you want to respond I, I to mean, Vice look, President Biden? You know, and and let, let me put this in context, because uh, your party controlled the White House and Congress in 2009 and didn't pass immigration reform. And this broke a promise made by President Barack Obama to Latinos. So why should voters trust Democrats now? I mean, now it is even more difficult, as you know, because you need Republican votes in the Senate. So are you willing, for instance, to give up DACA or give up a path to citizenship or even agree to build a wall in order to legalize 10.5 million undocumented immigrants? Jorge, thank you very much for that question. And uh, you look, I agree that Barack Obama was very different from Donald Trump. Donald Trump has a dark heart when it comes to immigrants. He built his whole political career so far on scapegoating and fear-mongering and otherizing migrants. And that's very different for Barack Obama. Um, but my problem with Vice President Biden, and Corey pointed this out last time, is every time something good about Barack Obama comes up, he says, oh, I was there, I was there, I was there. That's me too. And then every time somebody questions part of the administration that we were both part of, he says, well, that was the president. I mean, he wants to take credit for Obama's work, but not have to answer to any questions. I mean, Vice, Vice President Biden, you have, I don't get that. You have 45 uh, seconds. Jorge, let me that just say, what I said. Jorge, let me just say I that said. I would, I was the first candidate in early April to put forward an immigration plan. You know why? because I'm not afraid of Donald Trump on this issue. I'm not going to backpedal. I'm not going to pretend like I don't have a, my own vision for immigration. So we're not going to give up DACA. We're not going to give up protections for anybody. I believe that on January 20th, 2021, we're going to have a Democratic president. We're going to throw out Mitch Thank McConnell you. and John Cornyn and have a Democratic Senate and a Democratic House. And we're going to pass immigration reform within the first 100 days. Vice President, 45 seconds. I did not say I don't stand. I stand with Barack Obama all eight years, good, bad, and indifferent. That's where I stand. I did not say I did not stand with him.